Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name's Kathy Fillion, and today I'm gonna to be showing you four different ways to use Mod Podge to decorate letters like this, words or letters, we should say that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really fun, quick and easy glittering technique. I'm gonna show you how to attach paper to, these are um, paper mache letters, or chipboard letters, I should say. I'm going to show you how you can use tissue paper to decorate a letter like this. This is wood from the dollar store. And I'm gonna show you how you can use gold mega glitter to create this fun kind of modern look. Now, I went with all different love and XOXO because we are almost at Valentine's Day. And all of these different wood letters and things like that would be perfect to attach to a wreath or the back of a piece of wood and hang on the wall. So you can really use these to create tons of different projects. You can even add just a ribbon to it and hang it itself on the wall. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna start with our tissue paper project. And for that project, let's see, I've got a whole bunch of stuff stacked up here, guys. So I got this uh, wood letters like this, XOXO. These were from the dollar store and it had a hanger there that I just clipped off. And I went ahead and I primed it with my favorite. You can see it's all messy. My favorite <laughs> folk art home decor chalk that I, I feel like I paint everything with this chalk paint. Um, so you wanna just do that so that your, um, if we didn't do that, the tissue paper where it's white here, it would show through that brown color so you wouldn't get those hearts really popping through. So this is super easy to do. I'm using gloss Mod Podge and I've just poured a little bit into my recycled container here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my gloss straight on top of the letter, just like so. And just a thin, even coat. You can use matte or satin if you want. Gloss is gonna give it the shinier finish. So I'll show you that finish. Matte would give it more of a flat finish and satin gives it a finish in between the two. It really just depends upon what you uh, are preferring. Okay, we are all coated on the top. Now I did not do the edges yet because we're gonna do that in the second step. And this is just regular old printed gift wrap tissue paper. So we're gonna lay that right on there. We have a little bit of time to play with it. Then start in the center of each letter and smooth it out. You wanna work kind of quickly here. Get up a little bit. There we go. Just like so. Smoothing with your hands quickly. I can see there that I didn't get enough Mod Podge, so I'm gonna just pull that right up and add a little bit there. Looks like it maybe dried out a little bit on those corners. So you'll be able to tell because it'll kind of have a bubble look. You won't see it sticking flat, it'll kind of bubble up. So if you see that, just go and lift it up very carefully and add a little bit more Mod Podge. Okay, we are good. Now what I wanna show you is, we're just gonna trim around the edge of our letters. So we're gonna go pretty close. We don't wanna go right up against it because we want this to wrap around the edges. So we'll just loosely trim around. off here go in a little bit closer here there we go and you can just discard that part now for this part we're gonna go in and make cuts right to all those little spots and then for the rest of it we'll just go around and start making cuts like so and you can go in Sort of trim around here, like so. And wherever you have like a point like that, go in and trim it. And that is how you're gonna be able to bend that tissue around the edge. Go up to that point. And I don't know, you can do a, maybe like every half inch or so. So you'll just kind of go around like that and then if you want here, like where you have the O's, you can go in with a craft knife, like so. You can use scissors too, whatever you have on hand. Just go 
you don't want to get rid of it because we're going to wrap it to the inside. Okay, so now what I want to show you, and I'll just show you kind of half of this because it's kind of boring to watch me do this part, but let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of the Mod Podge to the edge, and then you will just fold these papers over just like so. Let's add a little bit more. You can really let the brush do the work for you. Just fold them over, fold them over. And then on the back side here, add a little bit. Kind of smooth it with your finger. Just like so. And you'll just top coat that with more, just like that. So let's just show you one more time what we're doing there. We're going to add our Mod Podge right to that edge. And then you just fold the paper back, just like that. And really, you can, your brushes go in and add to the back. If you want, you can smooth it with your finger or you can use the brush either way. And that's how you get that nice finished look there. Now for the centers like of this O, same kind of thing. You'll just go in and add your Mod Podge around the inside there. And then you'll just fold back the papers to finish that off, just like so. Now once you have it done all the way around, then you'll go in and top coat. And for top coating, you're literally just adding a top coat right onto the project, just like so. And you'll let that dry. It looks a little milky right now, but it's gonna dry perfectly clear. And when it's finished, it will look like this. So you can see all those papers wrapped over the edges. It almost looks like it's silk screened or that you've hand painted this, but all it was was just a piece of gift wrap tissue, tissue paper. And that tissue paper, I only used half a sheet. So you could really make a whole bunch of these with just one you know, package of tissue paper. So if you're doing a theme or something like that, if you're doing wedding, you may not be doing this, XOXO, you might be doing Mr. and Mrs. This is a really fun way, quick way to customize these letters using printed tissue paper. Okay, so next I wanna show you, well, let's see, I've got this lined up next. I wanna show you how we do this quick glittering technique. I love this cursive love. So let me scoot this out of the way and we'll bring that over. So for this, I'm using a wood letters that I got that spell out love and cursive. And I went ahead and pre-primed it with some Folk Art multi-surface paint. Now I chose red because I was using red glitter and that's sort of one of my favorite cheats for when you're glittering is just to base coat it with the color of glitter. That way, if you have any little specks that aren't showing through, you still get that red coming through. Now, you do not have to do that. If you wanted to use black paint to have a contrasting edge or something like that, you can really do any color that you want. So let's go ahead and show you that very quickly. So for that, it's the same thing. We've gone ahead, I love this chunky glitter, and pre-painted our words here. And for this, we're just gonna go in right on the tops. And I like to use a flat brush for this. And the Mod Podge, it like, it doesn't really spill over. If you get a little bit over just because you accidentally brush over, that's fine. Just wipe it before you, whoop, I almost dipped right into my glitter cuts. <laughs> I better move those. I literally almost put my paintbrush into the glitter. That would have been a mess. Good thing I have more than one brush. Okay. Now this technique will work on wood letters, chipboard letters, paper mache, really anything. And the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint works on all sorts of surfaces, everything from tin, glass, terracotta, wood, paper mache, chipboard. So really anything that you find, you can base coat it with the Folk Art Multi-Surface and then use your Mod Podge over that. This is also really good for 
what I call a paint over project. Sometimes you might find something on clearance or at the thrift store or even in your own home and think, oh, that needs a makeover. Well, you can always do a paint over. Paint over and then Mod Podge it with your favorite papers or glitters. Okay. Now sometimes if you have a big word, by the time you get to the end, you wanna just double check over here and make sure that you're all still wet and we are, we are good. Okay, so now, now that we have our top covered with our Mod Podge, it's just as easy as pouring glitter all over the top of it. Just like so. And don't worry if you miss a little spot here or there, you can always go in and touch up with a little dot of Mod Podge and more glitter. Don't you love this chunky glitter? This red is a gorgeous color. All right, let's tap off. And there you go. Now all you need to do is set this aside and let it dry. If you wanna top coat it with gloss Mod Podge, you can, and that will seal that glitter in. This is wet, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'll grab our dried one. You can seal this. So if you wanted to seal this glitter, like sometimes if I'm doing something that's gonna be on a dining table or something like that, I wanna seal it so it doesn't flake off onto the table or into people's food. And for that, you can just go in with your gloss Mod Podge and brush right over the glitter. And that will dry perfectly clear and it will seal all of your glitter in. So that's really if you wanna top coat it and seal it. Now, I don't recommend using matte or satin for the glitter sealing, because it does dull out the, the glitter sparkle a little bit, so make sure you're using the gloss or the super gloss formula of Mod Podge. So that is how you do that. Okay, let's see what's next. Next is our paper letters. So these are really easy to do. I found this uh, chipboard love, L-O-V-E, and um, this really cute black heart paper. So let's do that one next. Oh boy, I have <laughs> a bit of a glitter mess here. That's okay. Let's see if I can funnel that back in really quickly. I usually do that over paper. It likes to stick to wax. Oh. Lordy, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm, I think I'm creating more of a mess. <laughs> we will clean that up later. Okay, so for our love, there's a couple of tips I wanna share with you. Um, sometimes these letters come uh, bigger than a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So this is just scrapbook paper. You can also use wrapping paper, newspaper clippings, magazine clippings, you know, it's, it's endless. Um, decorator paper, which is more uh, like 18 by 23 usually, anything like that. So if you have a 12 by 12 and it's too big, you'll just need to piece it together. And on this one here, you can see, if you look closely, that I've pieced it together where the V and the E meet right there, okay? So the first tip is you're going to paint your letter a color that matches your paper. So I've got my black heart paper here and I've pre-painted this black using the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. It's a great paint. Again, it works on just about anything. So to do our letters, we're going to trace them upside down on the back side of the paper. And for that, you're just gonna go in with a pencil and trace around your letters. So easy, just like that. On this one, you would stop at the E, move this down, and then trace around your E. Okay, so you'll just pick which letter, to me when I looked at these, I thought that was a nice transition from there, so that's where I chose. But some of the letters, you may wanna do it in the center if you need to piece it together. And once it's all put together, it's really, you can't even see it. So I've gone ahead and pre-cut out my letters. I got my L-O-V and my E right here. And for those, I use scissors and just a craft knife to get rid of the inside of the O and the E. So this is super easy to do. Grab a piece of wax paper. And for this, I like to coat both my letters and my paper letters. So let's get this lined up. Oh boy, guys, I'm gonna be cleaning glitter for days, I think. So we're gonna do a really light base coat here onto our chipboard letters. Again, pre-painted. Now with this black, I that's just to match the paper so that the edges here match the paper. But again, that's a personal choice, so you can do it 
however you want. You could paint it gold, you could paint it white, pink, red. You know, just look at your scrapbook paper that you've chosen and choose a color from it. There we go. So just a nice thin base coat on there. That's it. You don't need very much because we're also going to be applying it to the paper. So let's go ahead and add a thin coat to the back of our paper. Make sure you get all those edges really good. Now I am here in what's normally sunny California. We've got a little bit of rain today, but all my friends all over the rest of the country are showing pictures of snow. So please drop a comment and let me know where you are watching from and what your weather is like. I'm predicting sunny weather tomorrow out here, but we're sort of enjoying the gloom today. Now we're just going to place that right on there. Oh, look, I've got glitter on there even. Go ahead. You've got a little bit of time to wiggle it around. That's why I like to put the Mod Podge on the letters and the paper so that you have a little bit of wiggle room time. Okay, I think we did pretty good for our landing there. Now, I like to go from the center out on each piece, kind of giving it a gentle press down. Wipe any edges there. We're going to seal this up in a second. Kind of go around, make sure you don't have any air bubbles. Each paper reacts a tiny bit different. And one thing I did want to talk about too is I did paint the top of the letter, which yes, I know we're covering with the paper. I like to do that so that I know that the Mod Podge will seal to the paint, no problem. Sometimes the woods might have a treatment in it or the paper might have a slick surface or something so that way you know that you're going to have no problems uh, sticking down to it. It's almost like priming your project. Okay so we've got our LOV. Let's put our E down really fast. If you guys look closely there's little bits of glitter all <laughs> over this project. I think we're going to find this red glitter all the way till Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? Okay and let's add a little bit to our E. Just like so. Coming up next, I'm gonna show you about Mod Podge Mega Glitter. And that is no flake glitter because the glitter is embedded into the formula. And we'll put that E down and you can see where it just overlaps there. That's where we have those meeting up. From the center, pressing down. Okay, now I want to show you how we top coat. So to top coat this, it's just as simple as going right over the paper and the letters. I like to use long brush strokes, just grab any. You don't want any like pooling up right there. Long brush strokes going in the same direction, just like that. And you'll just do that to the whole piece. And you don't need a real thick top coat. And again, it's going to dry clear. And this is the gloss formula, so it's gonna dry with a little bit of sheen to it, the shine. If you wanted matte, you would use the matte formula, satin if you want, no shine or no matte, sort of in between the two. It's really just a personal preference. And we'll go ahead and top coat the E really quickly. <laughs> a little piece of glitter made it in there. <laughs> and just like that. So that's how quick and easy you can do these letters. I actually, I think it takes longer to pick out your favorite paper that you're going to do. I have one last one to show you, and that is this really cool gold one. And for the gold one, I'm using Treasure Gold Paint, and I'm using the Mod Podge Mega Glitter in gold. And this is one of my favorite formulas of Mod Podge. So the Mega Glitter comes in gold, silver, and hologram, which is kind of like an aurora borealis, so it picks up whatever colors are around it. And it's very, very pretty. Um, so let's move this over. I have, I wanna show you this close up, if you can see that. That's the Mega Glitter, and that's two coats of the Mega Glitter. And what's cool about Mega Glitter is it comes in several different sizes in the jar. So if you look at it, it's very thick formula. Let me grab a new brush. It's very thick formula and it um, 
has little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces of glitter in there, and it has uh, chunky glitter too. So there's a bunch of different sizes in here. I pre-painted, these were from the dollar store also, these wood um, MDF letters, and I pre-painted them with treasure gold, just to give it that sort of, I don't know, kind of going for a modern look here. And this is the mega glitter, and so what I wanted to do was just highlight the O, and you can see how thick this is. And for that, it just kind of went like this. I started and made my imaginary line of where the O would meet back up, like so. And then you can kind of brush it on, but really you can kind of just goop it on. You just want to be uh, mindful to sort of spread it so it's not real lumpy in one spot. Some of this will settle, um, and it looks kind of gray, milkish right now, but all of that dries clear. That gray color goes away, and all you're left with is this really stunning, glittery look. So that's what it looks like when it's dry. So let's just go ahead and give, I'm gonna show you that one more time. So we're just gonna go in with our brush, seal up that O there, and then just go in and kind of tap that around. You can brush it on. If you want like a very faint look of glitter, you would brush like that. But for that sort of all over full coverage, you kind of tap it on and sort of see how thick that is. Really get a lot of glitter in there. And this will be no flake, unlike our red glitter. Oh my goodness, we're gonna find glitter for days. Okay. So that is one coat there. Like I said a minute ago, for our finished sample, I did two coats. Now this dries fairly quickly, so you probably wait about an hour and then you would be good to do a second coat there. Um, and once it's dry, you get that really cool sparkly look. You could do all of the letters with the Mega Glitter, but I really like the idea of just doing that one letter to pop out. So let's go ahead and quickly recap our four different techniques today. So we did our tissue paper technique on our XOXO. This is super simple to do, only used half a sheet of our tissue paper and we used the Mod Podge gloss. Now we've got our glitter love letters. That was super easy to do just using the Mod Podge gloss. And we've got our black and white combo with our love using scrapbook paper and Mod Podge gloss as well. And lastly, we did our mega glitter love. <laughs> well guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope that these have given you some ideas of how you can make over these wood words and letters that you see at the store. Like I said at the beginning, these are great for wreaths, turning into artwork, for the wall, popping up on your mantle, you can put them in an easel. So many different ideas of what you can do with these types of letters. We'll be back here next Thursday on Facebook and Saturdays on YouTube with some more fun ideas. We'll see you next week, bye.